Welcome back to the Great Low 60 channel. We are back on the roof of a high rise building here in Nanning. And what are we doing here? Well, we're having a rooftop barbecue, of course. And this is the before. You see, nothing's going on at all right now. We're going to be barbecuing, drinking beer. And this is a Saturday at just about two o'clock in the afternoon. And this is going to go on until the middle of the night or tomorrow morning. And this happens five, six times a year in my world. So I thought I'd uh, make a video, show you. I've done this before, but uh, not lately. So I'm gonna show you what we do for a rooftop barbecue in Nanning, Guangxi Autonomous Region. And uh, all of those rumors and things that you've heard on the internet about how oppressed the Chinese people are, well, we're gonna show you oppression tonight uh, in the, in the, in the extreme oppression of beer drinking and barbecuing and having fun. And one other thing I wanted to say, a thank you to Randy Walser, uh, Yenjing Wheat Beer. He bought me a couple of these things uh, on my last video. He put it on the WeChat, buy Guilao beer. Thanks, Randy. This uh, Yenjing beer is uh, actually pretty damn good. Mm. Life is tough here in China, you know? Yeah, rough life. Some of the food, some of the food here is cultural, like that you and I as a Westerner won't eat. Like the fat fish belly that they're, that they're barbecuing here is uh, something that it's just too fat and rich. We don't eat that in the Western world, but here it's a barbecue extravaganza sort of item and uh, they like it. Check this out. I'm more into the beef barbecue, the pork barbecue, the vegetables, the chicken wings, the, the yeah, all of, all of that. They actually even uh, barbecue the greens and stuff. They stick it on skewers and they barbecue it with oil and spices and stuff like that. So it just, it, it, uh, it's different than a barbecue in the West. You slap, you've seen me barbecue. Uh, slap a couple of rib steaks on, hit it with some seasoned salt, some pepper, uh, make it so it's just pink in the middle, take it off and eat it, pork down a whole bunch of meat. They don't do that. Baked potato, hell, I've never seen a baked potato in China in my life. Uh, here it's, uh, it's all greens and uh, barbecued meat, vegetables, and uh, fish belly. Yeah, fish belly. I still can't get over that one. Beef? So as you can see by the little thing that uh, Wei Fang just made, that uh, not only do they eat different foods here, but they package it differently. 
you've got uh, hot peppers and you've got fatty pork and you've got onions and you've got well a whole bunch and, and lettuce and whatever Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, spicy. You know, it's actually really good. Very spicy. There's a couple hot peppers in there that uh, sort of curl your toes. And you see, that's where the beer comes in. If it gets too spicy, just drink some more beer. But, yeah, like strange stuff that they do here in China all while being oppressed they figured all of this out while being oppressed by the Chinese Communist government go figure has just uh, informed me that you can dress me up but you can't take me anywhere you know what I mean when you when you're eating barbecue sometimes you just have to wear an old shirt oh here's another one see and this goes on for hours and hours and hours and so does the beer drinking mm. fatty pork Barbecued. Kumis. Spice. Um, cayenne pepper. Salt and pepper. Squash. Got squash on there too. Oh yeah. And we're wondering how high we are up. I don't know. I think seven stories. A friend of ours owns a building and there's a hotel downstairs. They uh, they run the whole top floor and, uh, and the roof for their own entertainment. Or mine, in Wei Fong's. Mm. Could life get any better, guys? Like, seriously. And people ask me, why do I like my life so much here in China? We've been back for, I don't know, 12 days. We haven't eaten supper at home once. We've been out every day. We've, every breakfast has been out of the house, except for the other morning. I went out and got some, uh, some food. We brought it back to Weifang, but usually we're out for breakfast. Actually, we're out for lunch too, and supper. We bought some fruit and brought it home to the house. But other than that, you know what I mean? And we can do that here because it's affordable. In the West, that would break you. Financially. Anyway, I'm going to go back and grab a beer. Because I get thirsty. Salty stuff. So, I'll be right back. And these are not just barbecues that we go to. It's like they're playing cards. These these are Chinese people. They gamble all the time. I don't think. Actually, I don't think they gamble. Well, Ivan says no gamble. Yeah, I don't think they're gambling, but they do play cards on a regular basis. I think they're playing something similar to Kaiser. But uh, before this gets any further, because guelo has been drinking beer. Uh, I'm gonna sign off on this video so that's another video from Guilao 60 if you like this video from the rooftop just outside Landong area in uh, Guangxi autonomous region 
capital city, Nanning City. Like, comment, subscribe. Push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and whatever you do. Don't forget to buy Gui Lao beer. <laughs> anyway, until next time. Peace out. Bye now. Oh, you